Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. So the abuse of baptism does not destroy, but confirms it. Like, we're going to double down on this one. Baptism is not invalid just because somebody misuses it, just because somebody flees from it, just because somebody abuses it. Luther continues this line of thought in the large catechism where he writes, My dear, just invert the argument and rather draw this inference. For this very reason baptism is something and is right, because it has been wrongly received. For if it were not right and true in itself, it could not be misused or sinned against. The saying is, abuse does not destroy the essence, but confirms it. For gold is not less gold, though a harlot wear it in sin and shame. Gold is not less gold, though a harlot wear it in sin and shame. And baptism is not less than baptism, even though a sinner wear it in sin and shame. In fact, that's, that's actually what it's for. Baptism is for me. It's for my shame, my sin, that all the things that I hate about myself can't overpower this simple truth. I am baptized. We make the sign of the cross to remember just this. I am baptized. The water does what the word promises. It forgives my sin. It washes me white in the blood of the lamb. I misuse it. I fail to remember it. I sin. That's not good. But baptism is for sinners. And that's very good. It's for me. And it's for you. And it's even for your neighbor. Even that baptized person who you know who calls himself a Christian and you kind of don't want to believe him because he sins in a way that hurts you or he sins in a way that you can't quite understand. Baptism is even for them. So that when you hold up all of their sin and wonder if they're actually a part of the grace that you want to keep just for the folks that you like, that, that God would give you something that abuse can't destroy. He gives you a baptism to look at, an identity, a holiness that the tomb itself couldn't dirty. Sin is still bad. It still breaks stuff. But baptism is for sinners, and it doesn't stand on our ability to do something right, but on God's promise not to let our wrongs, our sins, and even our deaths ruin what he wills for us. Baptism is for when you look in the mirror and cannot find anything but what is wrong, that he would have something to hold before your eyes that would show you what is right. This is who you are. Yes, you have abused the gifts that he gives you, and your sins are forgiven. It's given in baptism, this forgiveness. God's will is done when he breaks and hinders every evil plan and purpose of the devil, the world, and our sinful nature, which do not want us to hallow God's name or let his kingdom come. And when he strengthens and keeps us firm in his word and faith until we die, this is his good and gracious will. And baptism, baptism is one of those places where he does it. So of all of the things that we break in this world and all of the things that we find already broken, baptism still stands. Gold is not less gold, even though a harlot wear it in sin and shame, and your baptism is nothing less than forgiveness, holiness, and worth given by God, even if it's given to sinners like us. That's why God gives it to sinners like us, that we would be given something better to judge by, better to measure. You are holy. You are worthy of love. You are baptized.